First, we're going to subtract 3. Now we're left with 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we're going to factor. This factors out into 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. We're going to set 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Subtract 1. You get 2x equals negative 1 divided by 2. We get that x is equal to negative 1 half. So one solution. x minus 3, we're going to set that equal to 0. We add 3 to this side. We get x is equal to 3. That's another solution. But the question is asking to express it in interval notation. So we're going to draw a line. And we're going to put these two solutions in this line, negative 1 half. I'm going to put a 0 here because it's included. And a 3, it's included. Now a number bigger than 3, let's say 4, we put it into this equation. It gives you a positive number. So we're going to do a plus sign here. Now since when we factor it, we notice that the exponents here, there's an invisible one here, is an odd exponent. We know that the signs are going to be alternating. So we're going to do plus, minus, plus. And it's asking for whenever 2x squared minus 5x is less than or equal to 3. Well, we go back and look at the line. And we notice that negative 1 half and 3 are included. The answer in interval notation will be negative one half included in three. That's your final answer.